Well, this is the second time that we've cruised down the canal by Poolstock Lane at Wigan. All the times I used to drive down this road and I could see the water from the road, never realised it was a canal. I can't believe the rain has stayed off for the whole day. Just a light shower, about three o'clock. And it's really mild. Oh, well this is a really slow lock. We've been here about 10 minutes now. Right. Finally into the second lock at Poolstock. Those locks look enormous behind them. And you've got to more up on the left to fancy get on because the wall's about 12 feet high at that side. You got it? Take the watch. Step onto that cushion if you need to. Come on, I know. Come on out of the way. Come on. Get your dad in. chilly now. It is. Do you wish we'd stopped at Gaffer's now? <laughs> There's no internet. We couldn't have watched anything. I'm not even saying anything. No. We've still got laundry to dry and it's now quarter past eight. I can smell cheap if you knew. Yeah. It smells fab. Should we stop here? No. Nobody can get on your boat. You can stop on that side. You know, like how low it is. Yeah, the water's really low here. People had warmed us. Is this, is this pool stuck down then? Uh, Can people say they were actually grounded? Oh wow, don't say that. <laughs> right, we'll show you. You shouldn't really be able to see any of that. You can see where the water line should be. Yeah. I thought that was like, no, it's two isn't it? Three, we've done two. Wait, okay. <laughs> I only thought there was two then. No, I thought there was three. I thought we'd done three. Oh. Yeah, no, I right. thought we'd done two and I Well, this is why I think these locks on this level are so low. That's the gate closed. That is one leaky gate. If I'm honest, I really find these chains hard work and I much prefer pulling and pushing the gates manually.
and we're off it's now 20 to 9 we were worried we wouldn't make it to the swing bridge all right we'd have to wait till six o'clock before we got through that's canal time for you yeah we need to be better organized mind you the weather it is was that it's begin. absolutely throwing it down wasn't it yeah so this bit here on the far end it's difficult to see but uh, paul and i used to go kayaking this big tree there. i'm gonna hit it Take my eyes off in five minutes. Yeah, so we used to go kayaking here. We did it for quite a while, didn't we? Yeah, so the, what I've just filmed there, um, we used to go kayaking. We did it for, well, I actually did my one star in the Sulphur Keys yeah. um, with friends, didn't I? For, it was like a, in a day. And then I did my two star here. Is it Scotsman's um, Flash? It's Scotsman's that right, Flash, yeah. yeah. Yeah, really friendly bunch, actually. Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. Yeah, and it was always in the summer and yeah, it was just so nice to be out in, in the fact evening. didn't we get onto the canal we did yeah we brought our, we brought kayaks, our kayaks up, up onto the bank and, did this. and launched them into the yeah. canal it's brilliant really good not great for me because i'm not a strong swimmer well I, I think the only thing that put me off in the end yeah. was when i was practicing rolling and this guy said he'd spot me in what they call t what do they call it now t something uh, where they basically bring yours up and then you push yourself up uh, and he didn't get round in time and i panicked like I was there thinking, oh, he's going to come any minute, and then I realised I'm a spray deck on, um, and then I just panicked, and after that, it really put me off. Well, you I'm thought not, I drowned, didn't well, you? Well, I was watching from the side, and I thought, oh, he's been under for a long time, and you looked a bit shook up when you came up to the surface, yeah. which I don't blame you, really. And it's a real shame, because we used to really, really, and it's yeah. great exercise as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, the birds are amazing, they're flying all around, so I think we need to turn the camera around, don't we? It's a lovely area, this. It is. You can see how dark it started to get already but it was lovely and quiet and all we could hear was the bird song on the canal. Well, it was getting far too dark and we were both really exhausted. I think Dexter was tired too, so we decided as soon as we could after this bridge to moor up on the right hand side. You can almost sense just by watching this part of the video how tired the three of us were. Right, you getting your bike in the morning? I don't know, Paul, put, push that in for me. Watch up. This one. That one? Yeah, come on. There you go. Tap. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, 
We're exhausted, aren't we? Well, After I yesterday, <laughs> yeah. I'm at. Uh, where at? We're at Abram. Yeah. Um, we decided to motor for the night because it's getting quite dark in typical us fashion. We thought it wouldn't take as long as it did, so. Yeah. Um, Can I just say, we thought we'd get to the lift bridge at Plank Lane in Lee before six o'clock, and we'd be hanging around for an hour waiting for it to open because it's only up. It's closed between four and six. And at quarter past nine, half past nine, we, we thought still we'd though. better stop. Yeah. yeah. So we stopped at Abram, as Anthony said. Very quiet night. We've heard different reports about oh, this. I'll show you the video of this in a second, but this gull is just diving into the water for fish. It's amazing. Sorry to get distracted. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, yeah, so friends of ours stayed here and they heard a bang against the boat. And when they got up in the morning, there was a broken bottle on the boat and they think something must have thrown it. But yeah, it was very quiet, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was really nice. Um, and it's really nice scenery as well, isn't it? And a cracking yeah. car park just there, so yeah. I've rolled back. You worked out it was just over eight miles. It was seven and a half miles to Wigan from here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If, if you followed the path. So um, <laughs> I've rolled back, got the car, put it there. We'll have to go back for it tonight. Um, we may get a lift back, we don't know yet. Yeah, so the plan is today to get through Plank Lane Lift Bridge, which um, is closed between 8am and 9.30am, and then 4 till 6, but so the rest of the day. So this is the rush hour traffic, so yeah. we're fine now. Yeah. It's a little um, bit breezy. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to head to um, Booth Town. So we were going to stop at Pennington Flash, we didn't make it last night. We don't now have to go there because um, that was just a, like a stop off, wasn't yeah. it? So we're going to go to Booth Town. We have been there before. Um, I do need to contact Peel Holdings as well. I did try and email them, um, but the email kept bouncing back off the website. I'm not quite sure why. Um, you are supposed to give them 48 hours notice, but I've not been able to contact them. And then here last night was really poor internet. So you can ring them between two and four. Yeah. So I'll have to give them a ring. I have emailed them again, um, and that seems to have gone through. Um, oh, can we just explain, if you don't know, the Bridgewater Canal is a different canal than the rest, which is owned by the Canal River Trust, or run by the Canal River Trust. Um, it's not a different canal, it's just a, well, diff it's a different... It's owned by, owned it's a by different, different section of canal, yeah. owned by a different company. So it's Peel Holdings, are also on the traffic centre. Yeah. Or did. I they used to, yeah. yeah. I think it's... Um, so you need you, you get a reciprocal ten days, seven days journey, and then three days back onto CRT waters. So that's your ten days, you don't have ten days to cruise it. Yeah, but you're supposed to give them permission before you get onto the bridge water. But we're not on the bridge water yet. So we're not giving them permission. permission. <laughs> we have to get permission. We have to get permission. Um, I'm just trying to wrap this up. <coughs> okay. It's going on a bit. So yeah, we're, um, we, we're going to go into different waters and then when we get to the top where we turned left to Manchester, yeah. we're going to turn right and head towards Lim. Um, we're gonna, then going to contact... Well, that's after Crick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so yeah. we're going to contact say, uh, Bridgewater as well because we're thinking of getting an extended licence yeah. so we can take our time. Yeah, and we've got some friends down this way so I hope to see them. Yeah. But yeah, we shall crack on with the day, we better get going. Yeah, the sun's Be out. Before the bridge closes at four o'clock. <laughs> and it starts raining again. <laughs> see you soon. See you soon. While we're here, can we just say a big thank you to our patrons? Thank you so much, it really does help. Yeah, we, we really do appreciate it. We don't take it for granted at all. And we know money's tight for everybody at the moment, isn't it? Everything's going up, fuel yep. bills, utility bills. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much, yep. everybody that supports us. And even if you just watch the channel and give it a like, that supports us as well. So we do appreciate yep. everybody. Absolutely. They're more like family, aren't they, than viewers? Yeah, well, it does get to that point, doesn't it? When um, when you see, like, I've said this before, when you see familiar names and stuff yeah. in the comments, and it's you feel like you get to know these people, and it is, it's really nice. Yeah. And some of you will be able to put faces to it quick. Oh, We're yeah. We're very excited. Well, if you've not already said hello, or liked the videos, or left a comment, please do. We'd like to get to know every one of our viewers. Yep. <laughs> right, I'll turn the camera around. Uh, yeah. Loads. Oh, 
We'd also like to say a thank you to our members on YouTube as well. There's only a few of us, but thank you very much for supporting the channel in that way. And we've just seen Tony, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Who's a viewer. He asked us whether we're stopping. And his two dogs, he said he'd like those um, painting or drawing. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see Tony. So hello, Tony. Yep. I was on the floor, sorry. I did a quick way, as I'm sure he saw. Taking photo. Yeah. Yeah, I was <laughs> unconscious or anything. On the floor. Red alert. Is it cold red, cold red on a cruise ship? If and a somebody's drunk. Falls over well, drunk. it wasn't our cruise ship. That was hilarious. Yeah. Passenger fell over drunk. Cold red comes out, but they accidentally sent it to all the guest bedrooms. Yeah, they weren't meant to do that at all. <laughs> um, and we were like panicking in the boat was sinking. Yeah, cold red. What was that um, mean? But it was just some drunken person on the cruise. Yeah. And it wasn't you? It wasn't me, no. Which I was amazing. tucked up in bed. <laughs> Certainly wasn't me. Anyway, I'm going to get him a jacket. It started to get chilly and it started to rain. Oh, get yourself a shawl. I will. But there's still blue sky and it's so quiet, it's lovely isn't it? Yeah, well it was, and then you started wittering on. I love wittering on. I hadn't noticed. Anthony doesn't like awkward silence, that's what it is. <laughs> she ain't. <laughs> So sod's law, I've put my jacket on and now the sun's out again. Uh, we've just passed a farmhouse and we heard some barking dogs and what did you say? No, it's not the farmhouse, we're grouping it. Oh, no, a house is what I said. I don't miss, like, barking dogs. I mean, we've got a dog and if he used to go out in the garden like, and bark, we used to get him in. But then, where we moved to just before we got the boat, it was like, this, it just barked early hours in the morning. She used to throw it out, didn't she? Oh, yeah. And leave it out. Um, two in the morning. So For an hour at a time? Yeah. So I don't miss that at all. If, no. you, if you get people out, you can just move on. I know. Um, but you said you miss a bath? Yeah, so, like you were mentioning all the other stuff, and I'm like, well, you said like running water, I was like, no, yeah, running, water running water. Nice. Flushing um, toilets now. <laughs> well, that doesn't bother me at all. But a bath, definitely, because it used to ease my colitis. Yeah. Um, but I do think since we've been on the boat, it, I've not had as many flare ups. So it's obviously a not as stressful lifestyle, I don't think. No. It's, um, it was quite stressful last night because yeah, it was. I wanted to moor in the middle of nowhere because I knew how quiet it'd be. You didn't feel safe, so we had a bit of oh, cause, discussion cause about that. Because the area, <laughs> wasn't it really? Because yeah. we knew the area wasn't great, and yet you were like wanting to moor. You're like, nobody will come down here. I went, Apart from axe murderers or people who don't want to be seen. Got a really vicious dog next door, we'll be fine. <laughs> It'd have been too tired to get up, wouldn't it? Yeah, bless him. Oh, so yeah, we were cruising for about six hours yesterday before Dexter finally lay down. So if you've got a dog and you're on a narrow boat, does your, and we've seen quite a lot of dogs sat on the roof looking dead chilled. I wish yeah. Dexter would do that. And to be fair though, they probably had it from a pub yeah. and used to it where you know Dexter came on as an old dog and I think he does really well to be honest generally. Dexter or me. Both of you. Who <laughs> <laughs> says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? <sighs> I tell we say it all the time and we're not saying it to brag, we just wish if you've not got an arrow boat or you've not experienced this, it's the breeze trees blowing in the wind, the bird song, the blue sky, the white fluffy clouds, what's not to like? Some people don't like that though, do they? Like, no. our brother-in-law, he's just like, I just don't get it. Yeah. Where are the shops? Where are the shops? Well, I can't think of anything worse. No. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that wasn't great timing. The boat's just come through and lowered the bridge. To be fair, it's <laughs> holding the traffic up. It's quite a busy road, by the way, yeah. so it's probably not fair. Down there, right? I mean, kind of last time. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You still like the traditional boat, don't you? I do love the traditional boat and the traditional painting. Hello. Yeah. Hello. You're right. All right. All right. Well, thanks. Lovely boat. Cheers. Just admiring. There's a lot of building work going on on the left hand side, so you'll have to excuse the noise.
This is Plank Lane Lift Bridge and you need a British Waterways key to operate the bridge. It is timed throughout the day and you usually avoid rush hour. Oh, there's a Paul. Have you noticed this car? Or this boat? There was a boat coming towards us but I didn't want to hold up the traffic any longer than necessary and it's a good job I closed the bridge because all they wanted to do was use the water point on this side. We saw a friend of ours over on this side, so we decided to pull over and say hello. Ah, oh, that was really nice, wasn't it, seeing Trish? Yeah, so Trish used to be in Fettlers. Anthony said, I recognise that boat, and then Trish started waving. <laughs> it's weird how you like, remember boat names though, isn't it? Yeah. It's like when you see people walking the dog, you know the dog's names, and half the time you don't know the owner's yeah. names. Uh, yeah, just can't try. So, we stopped off there just to say hello to Trish, but then we noticed the boat that was selling gin. We were after gin at this time of day. Yeah, preserves and but crepes. Yeah. So we thought we'd treat ourselves to a savoury crepe, only to find it was all locked up even though it was open. And then the owner was walking up the towpath and she went, oh no, we're on an open weekend. Which is a shame, isn't it? So, yeah. Although we saved some money. <laughs> um, so we had an egg sandwich instead. Delicious. You're not impressed, are you? You'd rather have had a crate. I've just made us both a brew. We've left Lee. Very industrial, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of old mills, which is nice to see. And some of them are still being used, which is good. Um, I'm out in the open countryside now. I think we'll be able to see the East Langs Road, the A580 on our right pretty soon. I think I can see it actually. And we must be about 30 to 40 minutes from Bootstown. Yeah, we can't be far now. It's a good time, isn't it? Yeah. Take over. Can't mind. You get your coffee. Oh, next time you see us, ask us about Spoon Gate. Or should it be called Sulphur Gate? <laughs> and then, what was it? Last night? Ah, oh, there was something I was going to mention about last night's journey. Or yesterday. I don't know about the spoon, you're almost spanner. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm used to his not witty but hearty. <laughs> Big word for me that answer. Mm. I like you swallowed a dictionary. <laughs> I feel like the same seagull's been following us all day, but it's the same breed of seagull that we keep seeing every couple of miles. But it's amazing watching them dive into the water. Look at this blue sky, Anthony. I know, look ahead. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's nice.
Well, we arrived at Booth's Town, and just in time with the look of it, it looked like it was going to throw it down with rain. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to keep your comments coming and please subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week. Comfy lad.